All right. <clears throat> Question 12. Which would be the major product of the following reaction sequence. Right? So they give us this hexane molecule with a triple with this um, CH bonded to CH triple bond. First we're gonna treat it with sodium amide in liquid ammonia. Then we're gonna treat it with um, an acid like tritium, tritium, an oxygen with three tritiums attached rather than three hydrogens. I don't know what to call that. Um, and then third, we're gonna do, we're gonna treat it with hydrogen and PD divided by C, which is like um, a hydrogenating catalyst that puts hydrogens, it breaks double bonds and triple bonds and puts hydrogens on the carbons. So then is it gonna be CH2, CH3, is it gonna be the hexane molecule attached to CH single bond, CHT. Is it gonna be the hexane attached to C, the attached double bond to CH2? Or is it gonna be the hexane bond, the hexane bonded to CH2, CH2T? So one thing, when whenever they don't, it says H2 and with the catalyst, the hydrogenation catalyst, I think it's called. It doesn't mention it's in excess, so you can just assume that there's tons of it. So those were our three um, choices. So let's do the mechanism. Here's my molecule. There's an H attached to that, the end of that, right? It's, it's this bonded to a C, which is triple bonded to a C, which has one H on it. So we're gonna treat it with sodium amide in liquid ammonia. Sodium amide is gonna donate its two electrons to this hydrogen. Sodium amide is strong enough is a strong enough base to um, deprotonate an alkyne. The electrons from this bond are gonna go to the alkyne. And we're gonna be left with this, our hexane molecule attached. Here's the alkyne and it's gonna have a negative charge now because it was deprotonated and it lost its hydrogen. So here it is again, All right? Because now we're gonna do and the second part, which was we're gonna add the oxygen with the three tritium, um, the three tritium, what are they called? Um, the three tritium molecules, it's, it's hydrogen, right? It's hydrogen three is what it's called. Um, so, this negative here, the, this double bond, is going to, not this double bond, these two negative electrons are going to donate to one, a pair to the tritium, which is gonna give its pair to the oxygen, and we're gonna get left with the alkyne, it's now attached to the tritium, it took that tritium plus, plus O2, OT squared, which is like almost like saying water. It's just instead of hydrogen, it's tritium, which is hydrogen with two extra neutrons attached. So finally, we have our 
this molecule, the, the alkyne with the tritium ion, the tritium mol uh, atom at the end. And then we're just going to treat it with hydrogen, excess hydrogen, and this hydrona hydrogenation catalyst. I think it's what it's called, but maybe it's not. Don't quote me. And what that's going to do with excess, it's going to break both of these bonds. This bond will break. You'll add, you know, what, two hydrogens for each, you know, for each bond that breaks. So you're going to be adding four hydrogens. If you think this C has no hydrogens, this C has a tritium on it, which is kind of the same as saying a hydrogen. So it's one uh, hydrogen zero. It's one hydrogen altogether right here. Carbon with no hydrogens. A carbon with only one hydrogen. That's a hydrogen. It's just a tritium type of hydrogen. So if we're going to break two bonds, that means we're going to add four hydrogens. So if we come here, we're going to say CH2, CH2, tritium. You can see we added four hydrogens. And that's the answer.